have significant amounts of time working from home. Shared custody issues can make situations where people forget to file for those write-off options. Stever says one of the biggest misconceptions is people believing the IRS will notice that they did qualify for a write-off and fix it for them, which couldn't be further from the truth. If you leave off a benefit, if you leave off a credit, the IRS does not go back and review it and then send you more money. Leave it off, stays off. That's Stever also happening. suggests taxpayers go to whoever they're working with on their taxes and do a review outside of tax season to see what write-offs could be found for the next tax cycle. Ranji Sinha, Cairo 7 News. The Seattle Staples celebrates four decades. Azell's on the corner of 23rd Avenue and Jefferson opened for the first time in 1984. Since then, it has opened several locations across the community. And to celebrate every time a customer orders, they'll be asked to donate 40 cents to the Hazel Danielle Clayton Foundation this month. It supports local youth programs focused on economics and education. Still ahead, a dog napper caught the lengths one woman went to get back her pet and the charges someone is now facing for stealing it. But first, a torrential downpour. The first sites of destruction in Southern California as an atmospheric river hits. Some Olympia legislators want a new tax, a real estate sales tax. It'll hit small businesses, apartment buildings, senior housing, most construction. The cost will be passed to renters, seniors, small businesses and their customers. Then they can expand the new tax to hit family housing even more. Who will pay? I will. 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 We can handle any customer plumbing need, essentially from soup to nuts. Uh, we do sewer repairs, we do sewer installs, we do storm repairs, storm installs, we can install catch basins. One call, total solution, carefree for the customer. That's the best way. And this gentleman here is Walter Zaney. So he started Greenwood? Back in 1918. Wait, you're named after the founder. Sitting next to him is my great-great-great-grandpup, Baxter. No way. Is that a Lennox tore its own furnace? Proudly installed by Greenwood, of course. Man, a lot sure has changed over the years. With technology, sure, but we've never strayed from our commitment to providing you with a more comfortable home. Beacon Plumbing is all about the community, from the hydroplanes and Miss Beacon Plumbing wins the two to helping feed the community and employing the community. From everyone at Beacon Plumbing, thank you, Seattle. Stop freaking, call Beacon. Magical moments, snowy adventures, warming up, making memories. A winter wonderland. The perfect close by getaway this winter is Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Find countless ways to play and plan your escape at cdawinter.com. With over 50 million Toyota Corollas sold, it seems like we built one for everybody. And now we have. We built this one to be so dependable that it's often passed down within the family. We built this one to get 50 MPG and available all-wheel drive. This one for its handling and easy parking. This SUV for your next big adventure. And we built this one just for the fun of it. Now there is a Corolla for everybody. Get this one with 4.99 APR financing. Toyota, let's go places. The all-new battery electric BZ4X is an exciting new addition to Toyota's industry-leading electrified lineup. BZ4X has an edgy, futuristic design. And it comes loaded with the kind of standard features you really want. Like a best-in-class infotainment system with a 12.3-inch touchscreen. Easy to charge, easy to start, easy to connect. Toyota makes electric easy with the BZ4X. Now you can get 0% APR financing on a new 23 BZ4X or lease one for just $369 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Cairo 7 News, live at 4. Tonight, devastation in California. A massive atmospheric river hitting the south end of the state, and it is just beginning. This is a live look at Santa Monica Pier, and you can see skies are gray. And just a couple of seconds ago, we saw very choppy waves out there. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm D.D. Sun. This atmospheric river is packing a punch and the damage already starting. Trees already falling from strong winds and rain. Snow is piling up in the Sierras. A projected one to three
three feet possible near Lake Tahoe. The shore is seeing major waves down south. Now, this is a sailboat that washed up on a beach in Santa Barbara. Most beaches are closed right now. California Governor Gavin Newsom on standby at the state's operations center, helping coordinate where aid will have to go. And California has a record 8,500 state-coordinated emergency responders on standby for these storms. They are preparing for the worst. In Seattle, a much different story, clearer skies, but we feel any impacts of that atmospheric river. Will we, Frankie? I know you're tracking this. Oh, very lightly and just, I mean, in comparison to what's happening down south, it's just going to be a, a mere splash, if you will. Um, we're just going to get a, a little bit of a mist over okay. the next 24 or 48 hours. Now, it's I, almost like role reversal with the sunshine that we're getting. Absolutely. It feels a little criminal um, yeah. <laughs> that this is happening. We're getting the sunshine and Southern California is not. Um, this is a look right now. So from Santa Monica, I'm pulling you down to San Diego. This is a view from the Hotel Dell uh, in Coronado, California. Again, San Diego area. It, this camera has been very active since I pulled it up because it's keeping, it's doing surveillance. We've been seeing some trees that have been slightly uh, bent back, these palm trees from the 20 mile per hour sustained wind speeds that are moving through. And we've also been seeing folks out there who are trying to maybe get their towels. The towels are blowing out of control. Um, you're probably thinking, well, why do we care about this? This is Southern California. We're in Washington. Well, this is kind of how this all played out. So we talked yesterday about a low pressure event that was sitting just adjacent to our shore water. So sitting over the Pacific and over the yesterday to about today, we saw that that low pressure system continued to sink further south. Low pressure systems move in a counterclockwise motion. So as we continue to see a lot of this atmospheric river event coming, the Pineapple Express coming out of uh, Hawaii, we'll see that because of the positioning of this low pressure system, it's really just keeping this heavier rain, some of the snow events and wind just consolidated into that Southern California region, an area that it doesn't do well with absorbing all of that moisture. Now that's what's going on there. Lots of uh, concerns, but how does that affect us? I'll have a little bit more context for some of the spritzes we can see our way coming up in my full forecast. All right, thanks, Frankie. What was the name? I don't know. I don't know. A new video takes us inside the ambulance as first responders get their first look at a woman who fought to escape her kidnapper last November. The woman you are looking at now ran a quarter mile barefoot to a neighbor's house begging for help after being beaten with what investigators believe to be a chair leg. To this date, police don't know why or how she got to, the, to, she got to that alleged kidnapper. He has been identified as 75-year-old David Ruffier. His body was found after he shot himself. I came here from my death house, and now with Amnesty coming in, you know, many of us here are just saying, you know, maybe we can't stay. Families in Tacoma are pushing back against plans for an old Tacoma church. The owners are trying to convert this historic building into affordable housing. Kyra 7's Louis Tran shares how neighbors are worried how that new housing development will impact the neighborhood. That's correct. This church is at the center of this neighborhood. The owners of this property tell me that they plan to have around 40 to 50 tenants inside this building. Now for the neighbors, several tell me that they are worried about traffic, limited parking spaces, and now the safety of the kids. I have a feeling it's just going to bring some chaos to the neighborhood that just never existed. Tyler Colbo is concerned about his Tacoma neighborhood as the future of this historic church could be changing. This idea is um, blossoming around the country. Andrew Kane, the co-owner of this property, says that they're trying to convert this historic building into affordable housing. They're targeting young adults from the ages of 18 to 26 years old, supporting them as the cost of living is high. This is about just giving to those young adults who have dreams and visions and supporting them and going after. He says that this building will have around 11 shared rooms with around 40 to 50 tenants. He tells me that all of them will take part in a mentorship program and drinks and drugs are not allowed inside the building. But Colbo says this will only make the neighborhood worse. They're going to find places within the community to do what they're going to naturally do anyway as kids. They're going to seek fun. Uh, they're going to do, seek their vices and they'll end up being in lawn chairs in our front yard smoking and drinking. And for Sharon Hinchcliffe. There has to be a 100% guarantee to protect the children in this neighborhood. She and other neighbors want families to be protected. People have invested a lot of money and their time into these properties, and uh, a property like this is certainly going to be bringing the property values down, um, which is huge for everybody.
The owners tell me that they plan to open this affordable housing unit roughly in about two years. But first, they need a conditional use permit to be processed first. In Tacoma, I'm Louis Tran, Cairo 7 News. Crews are repairing concrete panels in South Seattle as a part of Revive I-5 today. Two lanes closed at Boeing Access Road to State Route 900 MLK Way this weekend. And let's take a live look at that work happening right now. This is Benefit Street on I-5. You can see very slow going on those southbound lanes because of those repairs. All lanes reopen Monday at 4 a.m. A heads up for commuters between King and Snohomish counties. A big change is coming and it might give you sticker shock. State transportation officials voted to approve $15 tolls on two major thoroughfares. It'll bump up the cost, which is currently $10 on I-405, and it'll go from $9 to $15 during peak hours on State Route 167. The change will affect drivers taking express and HOV lanes from Linwood down to Auburn. The question now is, how often will you have to pay this? Well, Cairo 7's Bridget Chavez spoke with drivers along I-405 who say they feel like they're being priced out of those